are pleased to have you all with us, and we are honored to have with us tonight 11 of the Little House actors. These individuals' work with the television series is still being seen around the world every day. Now, we would like to present our very special guests. Ladies and gentlemen, the hundreds of volunteers who make this possible are so enthused to welcome Charlotte Stewart, also known as Miss Beagle. is pleased to host Hersha Parody, who played Alice they Harvey. All knew. They all knew. Woo! Hi! <laughs> Fragments of a Dream is happy to present Lindsay Greenbush, who portrayed Carrie Ingalls. Sydney Greenbush, who portrayed Carrie Ingalls. <laughs> I'm sure all of you Little House fans are excited to meet Rodimus Perra, who portrayed, portrayed John Sanderson Edwards. <laughs> The Windswept Prairie is glad to welcome Lucy Lee Flippin, oh, wow. who portrayed yeah. Eliza Jane Wilder. <laughs> the Land of 10,000 Lakes is honored to welcome Dean Butler, who enacted Almanzo Wilder. Oh, yeah. Dean, you go down there, the twin can sit here. Okay. Up here, you're up here. William William is also pleased to present Brenda Turnbaugh Weatherby, who also depicted Gray Singles. of each of you, if you would tell us just briefly what you've been doing since your Little House experience. And if you don't mind, Charlotte, we'll start with you. Um, let's see. Um, since what I'm doing now, I'm actually retired. Um, seven years ago, I moved to the country up in Northern California. And I am just doing lots of, well, you saw the beetle bags, right? Yeah. I've been making those beetle bags. And um, I, I, I raised them for money for a, a, a woman's cancer program in Napa. I'm a cancer survivor. And uh, thank you. And I've done a little acting since then. Um, but mainly I'm retired. I'm just enjoying my life. And uh, I get to do these wonderful trips and come meet you guys and see all my friends here. It's just, it's wonderful. Thank you all for being here. This is wonderful. What a turn out. Mm -hmm. Hi, 
Hi everyone, I'm Hersha. I played Alice Garvey. And um, since I left the little house, and most of you know how, unfortunately, <laughs> um, yes. I've been doing mostly professional work on the stage, which I've been doing for like 50 years. And in fact, tonight there is a play that's opening up in LA that I directed, and I'm uh, telling them all to break a leg. But it's fantastic to be here. This is so awesome for all of us. And what a beautiful crowd, beautiful stage, beautiful day. We're all happy to be here. Thanks for being here. My name is Lindsay Greenbush, and most recently I just completed my bachelor's degree in accounting. It was a four years of hard work and determination. <laughs> it is finally behind me. <laughs> and after that, I got married on July 5th to a wonderful man. And that's my most recent happenings, and I also want to thank you all for being here. Tell me where you got married. Yeah, you must. <laughs> I got married on Big Sky Ranch, where, which is where we used to film Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> my, yeah. husband, my husband and I met, was 37 years ago, I believe now, or 34 years ago now underneath the tree that was by the creek at the Ingalls' home. It was a brief hello as we passed. We reconnected 30 years later, and on July 5th, we got married under the oak tree where we met the oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Sydney, and since Little House ended, I did a movie and then I did some uh, theater work in high school. Now these days I work Monday through Friday as a sales system administrator, which is a fancy word for our West Region Processing Center. I make sure all the sales docs are legal and binding so everybody has to buy their home. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> And I came in uh, season six with Dean Butler, my brother on the show. After Little House, I did two more TV series and some film and theater. And after 45 years, I'm, I'm taking a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Pennsylvania. We're renovating a 1767 farmhouse. Oh. So I, I went back another 100 years from, from Little House. But I, I just love being in, in Minnesota. And, and to know that the Mississippi, the great Mississippi, begins in this state. Yeah. And, and it's just a thrill to be here. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Rodimus Parra, and uh, yes, I played John Jr., uh, the adopted son of Mr. This Edwards and Grace Edwards. Yes. Um, so I finished Little House, uh, and I went out to uh, New York City to study directing and acting between 1978 and 81. I came back to Los Angeles and uh, tried to uh, continue my career in acting uh, as a, with a way toward directing films. Um, but that wasn't in the cards for me, so I decided to do something else with my life, reinvent myself, had a midlife crisis at 24, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and um, pursued another interest I had, which was uh, home electronics. It was the beginning of surround sound and home theaters and stuff, so I've been doing that for 25 years. Um, and been very successful, have had some very cool celebrity clients and stuff like that, I'm proud to say. And then, um, as life would have it, uh, the filmmaking is coming back into my life. So I'm actually going to be here in Minnesota, I'm actually going to be in Rochester after this event, this uh, weekend, and working on a, a short film, I'm sorry, an uh, independent film that I'm writing with a partner of mine. So I'm going to be here in Minnesota and Rochester making a film, hopefully pretty soon. And uh, I just want to say that this is so amazing to be here. Uh, what impresses me about this event, just sitting here right now, is the power of art. This one man, Michael Landon, and his vision sharing with the world the works of Laura Ingalls Wilder, and how amazing that 40 years later, the power of art brings us all together on this one spot. So thank you. Yes. Hi, I'm Brenda, and I play Baby Grace. Um, with only four short years in the program, it was still such an um, impact on our lives and our family. Our kids watch the show all the time. And um, I'm a mom, um, went back to school to get my master's, so I'm at kind of a different spot in my life. 
but enjoying every moment of it, and it's just great to be here. Um, I have my mom and my two daughters here, or my daughter and <laughs> Wendy's daughter here, so they're with us, and they're just enjoying um, this whole event as well. <laughs> um, and I'm Wendy, the other baby Grace, and um, I also am thrilled to be here. Um, I have a wonderful husband and two kids, and my daughter's here. We're so proud to have her with us. And um, I um, am a mom, and I also have a business that I do. I'm an alternative florist, making bouquets out of old neckties. Weird, but really fun. So that's what I do. I just sit and tinker all day. And we love when we get to come, and it is such a pleasure to be in Walnut Grove for the first time ever. So I'm joking at these talking about it. So thank you so much. Oh, wow. My name is Dean Butler, and I play down Manso Wilder on the program. Woo! <laughs> um, you know, it's it's interesting. I want to echo what Rodimus was saying about art, but in, in a more personal way, um, I can't imagine my life at this point without having the House on the Prairie apartment. It's been that impactful for me, and. Uh, you know, here it is 35 years later for, for Allison and for, so, for others, it's, been, it's 40 Water. years. To me, it's 35. It feels like 40. <laughs> um, it feels like forever. You know, it feels like it's never been, uh, not been a part of my life. So uh, I'm so grateful for it. This is my fourth or fifth time here in Walnut Grove. It'll be the fourth time seeing the pageant. Um, you know, after Little House was over, I did a couple of other television series. Um, I worked on Broadway, um, I was involved in some filmmaking, now I'm involved in sports television, I produce for Golf Channel in Orlando, Florida. Uh, any golfers in the house? Yeah? Do you any, anybody watch Golf Channel? Yeah? Really on a regular basis? Yeah? Well, I produce, if you, I, I produce the parody program at Golf Channel. And um, you know, David is a wonderful comedic Irishman who's a former golfer and now writer and so on. He's just brilliantly talented and it's a joy to work with him every day and craft these episodes of his one hour talk show which has been a, a huge success on Golf Channel. So I feel like I've been involved with NBC now for 35 years on a consistent <laughs> basis. So it's, it's really been a great thing for me. And I'm so thrilled to be here. I thank all the volunteers who have made this work and of course all of you who come to this pageant, make it all possible. Thank you for welcoming us so graciously. Oh, well, <laughs> I've been up to no good as usual. Um, let's see, after Little House, I you know, did a bunch of things. I did Fantasy Island and Love Boat and all those sort of scary <laughs> shows. And um, I am a stand-up comedian now, as some of you may know. Uh, I now have a one-woman show, Confessions of a Prairie, you know what, and um, some of you have seen, and I do that all over the country, and in fact, all over the world, some of you met my French friend, Patrick, who was uh, signing those lovely magazines, and uh, he'll be around tomorrow. We produce a show in France, Confession du Gas, and uh, another one, uh, Mal au Trésor. So I have two French shows. I do comedy now in English and in French all over the world. Um, I wrote a book. Uh, which some of you bought today and, and seem to enjoy. And uh, that's out in French as well as English, because it's just you know, one of those things. The French, well, they like Nellie Olson best, what can I tell you? Um, <laughs> well, they don't think she's me. You know, they, they think she's French. Um, so, <laughs> um, so I do that. Uh, so I write and I do comedy and I travel the world. Uh, I have a husband, Bob, who's here today, who I've been married to for 20 years. Um, so that's really cool. And um, I am doing stuff, I am doing a, a, a pilot, it may or may not become a show, but I am doing a TV pilot next week, and if so, it'll be great, because I'm going to be kind of mean in that. And um, I've just been told I'm doing a horror movie, um, so I will be scaring all of you again soon. <laughs>